Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Flywheel Goku GN413S and the F7 Mini Stacks. In this video I'm going to go over the features and specs and pretty soon I'm going to feature the Goku F7 Mini Stack in the build and flight video of the Flywheel Vampire 2 HD. Let's start with the Goku GN413S stack which is intended to be used on toothpick style quadcopters. Inside its box, along with the all-in-one flight controller and the VTX, you can find an XT30 battery connector, which is pre-soldered to 10 cm long 18 gauge battery leads, a linear antenna with a UFL connector, a 220 microfarad 25 volts capacitor, M2 screws, spacers, and silicon grommets, and 8 motor connectors, full width rate and full width 90 degrees pin headers. The GOKO GN413 stack is based on two components, a VTX and an all-in-one F4 flight controller. Both items are available individually and soon I'm going to feature the GOKO VTX 625 on a separate video where I'm going to measure its output strength and check its performance. The F4 all-in-one flight controller features an integrated 13 ampere BLLES 4-in-1 ESC, a built-in LC filter, two free UART ports and four pretty bright LEDs so you can find one on each side. In addition, its micro USB port is connected on the bottom, so you have to keep it in mind because you need to make sure that it's going to fit your frame. It can be powered using LiPo batteries between 2 to 4 cells. It gives you the option to either solder the motor wires directly to the motor pads, or use these provided motor connectors, which you can solder either to the top or the bottom sides of the board. It also features a dedicated camera control pad, which will enable you to control the settings of your FB camera, and also a 33 volts pad, so you can use a DSMX receiver. The weight of the board is 5.9 grams. It's using 25 by 25 millimeters M3 mounts, which are going to be reduced to M2 using the provided silicon grommets. And its outer dimensions are 36 by 34.5 by 3.4 or 8.2 millimeters, including the micro USB connector. Moving on to the Goku VTX 625. This VTX supports 48 channels, features IRC TRAM protocol, has a selectable output strength of 25, 100, 200, and 450 milliwatts, can be powered using only plus 5 volts, and uses an IPX antenna connector. It also features 4 LED units, which is quite unique, so next to the plus 5 volts, ground, RX, and video pads, you can find an LED pad, which will enable you to control the LEDs. The weight of the GOKO VTX 625 is only 1.5 grams and it can actually get even lighter. These parts are removable, so it gives you the option to mount the VTX on 16x16, 20x20, and of course 25x25 all-in-one whoop style stacks. Without removing these parts, the dimensions of the VTX are 41x21x3mm. When mounted on top of the all-in-one flight controller, it's meant to be mounted in the following manner, so the relevant pads are going to be close to each other. The next product on the menu is the Flywheel GOKO F7 Mini Stack, which is based on the GOKO F722 Mini Flight Controller and the 406S ESC. Inside the box, along with the flight controller and the 4-in-1 ESC, you're getting a 35 volts 470 microfarad capacitor, a harness for connecting the 4-in-1 ESC and the flight controller, and a bag that contains both M2 and M3 spacers and screws, and silicon grommets. As implied by its name, the GOKO GN406S is a 40 ampere BLL32 4-in-1 ESC that supports up to 6S LiPo batteries. It supports ESC telemetry, features a built-in current sensor, and also pretty big pads for the battery and the motor, which can be found both on the top and on the bottom side of the 4-in-1 ESC. It is connected to the flight controller using an 8 pins connector, and by the way, my harness is missing the ground wire, so in case your flight controller doesn't power up, you should check whether your harness is missing it as well. Next to the connector, you can find 8 soldering pads, which match the same pinout of the 8 pins connector, which is a great backup option in case the connector is going to break. The weight of the 4-in-1 ESC is 8.2 grams, and its outer dimensions are 30.7 by 36.5 by 6.5 millimeters. Moving on to the F722 mini flight controller, which is one of the most interesting flight controllers that I've ever seen. It features an F7 processor, 6 free UART ports, which is a lot. Its maximum input voltage is 50 volts, 
has both 5 volts and 9 volts to ampere BSC, supports dual cameras for camera switching. In addition to the built-in MPU6000 gyro chip, it enables you to add an external ICM2689 gyro using these pads. And in case the micro USB connector is going to break, on the bottom you can find these soldering pads so you'll be able to recover it, but unfortunately I haven't found the pinout on Flywood's website and I will need to figure it out. The weight of the flight controller is 5.3 grams, so including the 4-in-1 ESC it weighs 13.5 grams, and its outer dimensions are 31.4 by 29.9 by 6.4 millimeters. On both 4-in-1 ESC and flight controller you can find 20 by 20 M3 mounting holes which can be reduced to M2 using the provided silicone grommets. So as you can see this stack means business and I'm pretty sure that it's going to handle the Fly of Empire 2 along with the Ninja 2306.5 2450KV motors with no issues. So that's going to be it for this short overview of this new electronic parts from Flywheel. So far I've been really impressed with their products and hopefully it's not going to change after I'm going to test these products out. As always I would like to thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.